Ndulo and the Senator is a film about personal responsibility. It's a film about that moment in life when you, not as someone who is in a position of power, someone who is a regular, ordinary, everyday citizen, what you can do to make a difference. We have often heard that there is nothing as dangerous as the complacency of a good man. Which means that every day, when we omit our civic responsibilities, our duties to one another as brothers and sisters, they are piled up to create the kind of society that we so easily blame on the government. Well, I played the role of Carl, who was the boyfriend to the protagonist, Ndolo. Carl is a conflicted young man. He used to be a concerned citizen, but like most people today, he has given up due to pressure from his class conscious family and his own personal ambition. Right off the bat, you see that Carl and Dolo have major ideological differences. And yes, they say opposites attract, which is true for the most part because their relationship is passionate and steamy. But even so, you still wonder why these two are together because they seem to always be at odds. Carl is a charming guy who will do whatever it takes to get ahead in life. He's from a class conscious family that has huge expectations of him. And because of that, he becomes efficient in the art of social climbing. He believes he has the kind of charm that can let him get away with murder. In the real world, however, things do not go the way he expects. He becomes erratic and impulsive, which also makes him vulnerable and predictable. He's a predator, but deep within, he's also a victim. So, in the end, you're just torn between feeling sorry for him and hating him.